Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to figure out the total number of hydrogens in a straight chain hydrocarbons. Starting with alkanes. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons with carbon to carbon single bonds. When you have a straight chain alkane with no substituent or other functional groups attached, the easiest way to figure out the total number of hydrogens is to use the general formula of alkanes, which is CnH2n plus 2, where n is the number of carbons. Okay, so the first thing we do here would be to figure out the total number of carbons in this structure. So the carbons are all the corners, the ends and the corners. Okay, so this is a carbon. So those are all your carbons. Now, this is one, two, three, four, and then five, which means my N is equal to five. N is the total number of carbons. So I have five carbons in this compound, okay? So now we know the number of carbons. Your hydrogens would then be two times five, 10 plus two, 12, which means I have a total of 12 hydrogens. So this way you can figure out the molecular formula and also the number of atoms involved. But remember, this can only be more efficient when you have only a straight chain alkane. Now, what about alkanes? Alkanes are unsaturated hydrocarbons with at least one carbon to carbon double bonds. For this one, we have a straight chain. There are no substituents attached. There is no other functional group attached. So you can easily use the general formula of alkene, which is CnH2n. My total number of carbon will be one, two, three, four, five, and then six, okay? So I have n equals six which means I have C6H2 times 6, 12. So I have 6 carbons and 12 hydrogens. Okay. The last one, alkynes. Alkynes are also unsaturated hydrocarbons, but the difference is that they have at least one carbon to carbon triple bonds. For this one, we're going to use the general formula CnH2n minus 2. Our n, the number of carbons, I have 1, 2, here you have 3, 4, 5, and then 6. C6, H2 times 6, 12, minus 2, 10. So I have a total of 6 carbons and 10 hydrogens. Okay, so this is how you can use the formula method. Okay, since it's straight chain, no substituent and no functional group, this is the easiest way to go about it.